The Minecraft community has achieved some amazing stuff over the years, which deserve more than just a wow. So that is why in this video I will show you the most insane Guinness World Records in Minecraft. First we have probably the most popular type of record and that is speedrunning. There are many different categories in speedrunning, but the one that we will take a look at is any percent glitchless random seed. This basically means that you can't use any glitches in your run and you will generate the world with a random seed without knowing how it will look. The first place in this category usually changes pretty often, but at the moment the fastest player to ever beat Minecraft is Cube1337x. And he did that in 9 minutes and 8 seconds, which is insane. If you take a look at the second place, it is 23 seconds slower. And 23 seconds in speedrunning is a lot of time. The version Cube used, and well basically everyone else is using, is 1.16.1. And there's a good reason for that. In 1.16, the Biglin part ring was introduced, which is the fastest way to get Ender Pearls in the game. But you might think that, hmm, in newer versions there is also Biglin part ring, and that is true. But in the newer versions there are also Biglin brutes, and the last thing you want to deal with when you're having a world record pace are those guys. So every runner is using the last version before the brutes were added. And if you want to check out the run yourself, I will link the full video down in the description. It is pretty cool to see how they play. But moving on, there is actually another speedrunning category that is pretty well known. And that is the set seed category. In this one, you can choose what seed you want to play on. Though lots of players use the same best seed available at the time. In this one, the current world record holder is Magnetic Maybe, with a time of 1 minute and 49 seconds. Let me remind you that in the random seed category, the time was over 9 minutes. So this is a lot faster. Which is obvious, just have a look at how fast he loots the chest, or for example, how he builds the nether portals. And no, this is not with using any bots or scripts, it is all in real time. This makes it even more unbelievable. This is the result of running through the same seed hundreds, if not thousands of times. But now, something a bit different. Some of you might know that Minecraft is the most watched video game on YouTube, and to be honest, the second place doesn't even come close to it. But have you ever thought about who is the most subscribed Minecraft creator? Well, as you might have guessed it, it is Dream. It was also officially confirmed by Guinness on 16th of June 2022, and at the time, Dream had 29.3 million subscribers. And not only that, Dream also applied for a second Guinness World Record, and that was the most viewed Minecraft gameplay video on YouTube. Just a single video, the Minecraft Speedrunner vs 3 Hunter's Grand Finale has over 113 million views. So it makes sense that he also applied for that. Moving on, we have a pretty weird world record, and that is the longest redstone line ever built. It was achieved by a YouTuber user called Serpentine, and even though it is not officially confirmed it's the longest line, it is the only one I could find proper proof for. It is 100,000 blocks long and took him about 6.5 hours to do. He also has a full video, 6 hours long as you might have guessed, so check it out if you're interested. Anyway, that is some proper dedication and just for a redstone line. But moving on, we have something else that is pretty long. And that is the longest Minecraft video ever uploaded to YouTube. This record was broken by Super Slacker 22 in 2019 as he uploaded the video that was over 17 hours long making him the new Guinness World Record holder. But apparently that wasn't enough. Not even 2 months later he uploaded another video and this time it was over 30 hours long. That's pretty insane. And to be honest, I don't believe anyone in the 3 years the video has been up has ever watched it from start to end. So maybe that's a world record by itself, some were watching it from start to the end. And that is an interesting record since now you can't even upload videos longer than 12 hours to YouTube anymore. So this will most likely stay as the longest Minecraft gameplay video on YouTube. But now something for the people with fast hands. There's actually a record on the official Guinness world record site that reads, fastest time to build 100 snow golems with a mouse and keyboard. Yep, you heard me right. You can compete in building snow golems. Seems like a weird and random record, but here it is. It was set by Ashley Surcombe in April of 2015, so a pretty old record. She managed to build the 100 golems in 1 minute and 46 seconds. 
but I have a feeling that this record can be improved. So give it a try and maybe you can be the next one in the Guinness World Record. But now we have a record for the longest video game marathon playing Minecraft. And this was set by a man called Alexandre Jonyu. He played Minecraft straight for 38 hours, which is super insane. We also had a live stream for 58 hours straight, but we had multiple people to switch between, so we could sleep a couple of hours every now and then. So the fact that he managed to do it all alone and for 38 hours straight is insane. Next up, we have the longest journey in Minecraft. The Guinness World Record is held by Kurt J. Mack, who is still traveling and trying to reach the Far Lands. In 2015, when he got the record, he had traveled a little over 2 million blocks and he is still doing it, having reached about 6 million blocks by now and has been traveling for about 11 years, meaning he is about 50% of the way done. So if he keeps the same pace, he will be completely done in about another 11 years. So a pretty long journey to do in Minecraft. But that is also why he got the world record. There's also a video about this record, so if you are interested, that is also down below. But now, a Guinness World Record for the largest pyramid built in Minecraft. This was set by a group named Stone Titans back in November of 2013 and consists of over 2.6 million blocks. It took over a year for the group to build the pyramid, which is a one-to-one -one scale reconstruction of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The project was organized by John Brydon, and being in survival mode, the group had to mine and gather each block from the world by hand. And keep in mind that this was back in 2013, so they didn't have a lot of the same stuff to help them as we do today. But now we have a huge building, and to be more precise, a huge cathedral. This was built by a UK YouTuber GNR Francis and consists of over 2 million blocks. It is named Epic Cathedral and was uploaded to YouTube in October 2012. Shortly after that video was published, it was given the Guinness World Record for the biggest cathedral built in Minecraft. It took Francis more than a year to complete and it is truly amazing. Just look at the scale of it. Francis also has a video and a word download showcasing the build. So check it out if you want to visit it. And now something different. Have you ever wondered which Minecraft server network is the biggest in the world? Well, you might or might not know, but it is Hypixel. And to confirm that, they got four different Guinness World Records back in 2017. One for the most popular independent server for a video game, having over 60,000 concurrent players at the time, by the way. Now the record has grown, of course, and they have had over 200,000 people online at the same time, which is insane. They also got the record for the most unique players logged into the server, and that is a bit over 11 million. Now that number is at 20 million plus, which is almost half of all the Minecraft Java sales. How do you even get that many players? I don't know. They also got the record for the most popular Minecraft server, and another one for having the most games in a single Minecraft server, which at the time was 43 different minigames. It is amazing how successful this network has been. I hope you got to know some new facts and see you next time.